Welcome to question eight, where the question is, sketch the following graphs showing all key features. Y equals X squared minus X minus 30, and it is worth three marks. All right, so the important thing to realize is that this is in full quadratic form, which means that the only thing that we can really pull out of it straight away is the location of my Y intercept. When X is zero, Y is gonna be equal to minus 30. All right, and looking here, I've got a bit of space here to play with, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to say that this is minus 10, this is minus 20, and this point here is going to be minus 30, which means that I have a point here. All right, that is not going to be where the turning point is. All right, let's make that very clear. That is not where the turning point is. All right, now what we also know is looking at this equation is we can also determine the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry, the x value, the axis of symmetry is equal to negative b over 2a. So the axis of symmetry is going to be at minus minus one over two. All right, so it's negative of negative one divided by two, which means that the axis of symmetry is going to be at a half. All right, so our turning point is actually, so what we're gonna say is just to make my life a little easier, is we're gonna say this is a half, So therefore that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And therefore this will be the negatives. All right, so my axis of symmetry is going to run down the page like that. And from there, what we can do is we can work out the Y value of the turning point. But I think for the sake, ease of my sanity, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna look at this equation again and realize, hmm, hang on, haven't I seen this before? Scroll up and wow, there it is. All right, hasn't gone anywhere. It's the same question as we had before. So what we can then do is realize, well, hang on. We know this is factorized because we just did it. And that means that y is equal to which means that we already know two more points. We know that when x is 6, y is 0, and when x is minus 5, y is 0. So now we, we, have two we have two intercepts. We have the y-intercept, we have an axis of symmetry, and from there we should be able to draw some, something of a reasonable graph. All right, but for the sake of completion, we need to show all key features, which means that since we've worked out the axis of symmetry, we should probably find out where the turning point is. So therefore, y is going to be equal to uh, a half squared minus a half minus 30. So y is equal to a quarter minus a half minus 30, which is therefore going to be y equals so that's a quarter minus a half is gonna be a negative a quarter minus 30, which means it's going to be about 3.25, sorry, negative 30.25, which I will put there. And then somehow I say somehow. <laughs> A 
it's not a perfect system. All right. And as long as your graph looks something like that, <laughs> you know, I'm sure it looks better than that. But the point is, is that it has all the key points. All right. So for 8b, however, we are presented with a different set of circumstances. What we have here is a graph that is in turning point form. And looking at the equation, because it is x minus h squared plus, uh, plus or minus k, we know that our turning point is going to be at 2, negative 10. All right, so the turning point is at 2, negative 10. The axis of symmetry is going to be at 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly mark out some values here. So that's going to be minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, minus 10. And we'll call this one 2. That means here is my turning point. And that means that my intercepts are going to be uh, at 2 plus minus root 10. All right, because if you think about this, oh look, it looks something like this, not quite, kind of, but it's minus two squared instead. So it is going to be x minus two plus root 10 and x minus two minus root 10. Now remember root 10 is a about three, three, three and a bit. So if you think about it as being two plus three and a bit, and that gets you to about, so it's two, three, four, five and a bit, you would call that five point da 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 da, or you'd call it two plus root 10. And then if you think about two minus root 10, minus three and a bit, it's gonna come out to about here. So that's gonna be two minus root 10 or minus one and a bit. But using this, we have our, x equals two as our axis of symmetry. We have an approximation for where the points are and the graph looks mostly symmetrical. All right, the only thing that we don't have is that point there, which we can easily work out by making x equals zero. When x equals zero, when x equals zero, so we have zero minus two squared minus 10. So that's four minus 10. So when x equals zero, y equals minus six, which makes sense because minus two minus four, hey, minus six. And that's how you do question eight.